Hey there guys, it's Dave Gleason from Athletic Revolution in Pembroke, Massachusetts. And as promised, uh, I have a follow-up video to my last one. It was a fairly lengthy video. Uh, it was almost seven minutes in length, talking about what I deem to be the, the most incredible youth fitness class I've ever observed in my almost 20 year career, right here in my facility. And as I explained in the previous video, it was of no doing for myself. We actually took our programming that, you know, we took, we, we looked at it at length and really thought we had a good plan for the day. It was one of those days we had to meet the kids where they were, and it was, uh, we witnessed something spectacular, spectacular with these kids. Talk about developing a physical culture. Uh, at any rate, I wanted to share with you exactly in terms of activities what we did. Um, because I know that was probably a question. It would have been a question of mine. Well, what exactly did you do? Um, just to give you a little bit of background context in about 10 seconds, it was a half day for most of the schools around here, parent-teacher conferences. It was a beautiful day. The kids came in off the wall. Uh, silly as it can be, it's a 10 to 13 year old class of boys from varied backgrounds, varied interests, varied activities outside of Athletic Revolution and outside of our programs. Um, really, they couldn't have been more different. Some of them didn't know each other from a hole in the wall two weeks prior. Um, one of the best parts of it uh, for me was the amount of laughter that happened for 45 minutes straight. I mean belly laughs, crying, laughing. Um, not at each other, but with each other. It was great stuff. But here's what we did for activities. We, we started them out, um, we're about a month, month and a little bit into the school year, they're really getting tight in their hip flexors, tighter I should say. Uh, T-spine's really getting jacked up and immobile. So we did some foam rolling. Uh, their quads, hip flexors, we hit their glutes a little bit as well and then uh, I had the kids roll out their T-spine for a little bit. That's where the laughter started because as they're rolling out and I'm talking them through stuff, um, they got on this, on, on this tangent in a, in a conversation that was just hilarious and they were able to carry it through. From there, we went through some range of motion and activation. We did some lunge walks and bear crawls. We did a little bit of hip lifting, trying to engage the glutes. Um, again, very light, because we knew they weren't gonna dial in and focus today. As much as we tried to take them out of their world, put them in ours for 45 minutes. Sometimes, guys, we just have to meet them where, we are, with the, where they are. We did a team tag game. Uh, we've done this a lot. Um, this is one of two things that I picked up from my friend Dave Kittner in Canada. who's an outstanding youth fitness professional, changing the way things are being done in Canada. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a team, if you will, tag game. We have a circle of kids. One kid is designated, um, uh, not it, but the target. One kid's outside the circle. That whole circle's got to work as a team, move around, try to protect the kid that's the target. We went through before everybody get a turn at that. Uh, the next thing we did, I, I just picked this up from uh, Dave Kittner again last week, clap, clap, clap. We got them in partners, it's one clap low, another clap low, then it's a high five. Kept switching partners. Absolutely hilarious. Uh, and you know, just those two things alone, we could talk about the biomotor skill development, the coordination development. Um, we could go on the list and justify every activity. Again, the best thing that I saw was the laughter, the relationship building, the sense of community and culture that they were building amongst themselves. That's really life-changing stuff right there. Uh, last thing we did was we played an individual target game. They each had a dodgeball, which weighs virtually nothing. I gave them some sort of uh, activity to do the length of the turf, whether it was skipping, hopping, sprinting. They had to turn around, roll or throw their ball back down to this end of the turf, what you can't see behind you is a chain link fence that's about this high. They had to get it as close to the fence as possible without touching it. We went from there and we used another target game that I use a lot with my six to nine year olds. We set off a boundary they couldn't come over. We put out targets. Each target had a value to it. They had to add up the total points after 20 seconds and we kept changing the value of each target. It was outstanding stuff. Not outstanding in terms of like there's any great program or anything I did or my assistant coach did. It was very, very um, unstructured, if you will. We gave these guys boundaries, kept them in the boundaries, and let them go. Kids were exhausted, sweaty, worked on a myriad of different skill sets in terms of what we look for in developing athleticism. 
always good. But again, the most important thing was the relationship building, the fellowship, the laughter, belly laughter. Love it. Very good stuff. So, uh, again, I just wanted to give you an outline of what we actually did. At the end, we, uh, we voted on who was champion of the day based on character. Out the door. We're like, guys, what did you guys think of that class? They all said best class ever. And I agree. I hope this helps you. Uh, if you're looking for any more resources, some of the stuff that you know, I talked about, I got from Dave Kittner. He was an IYCA member. Um, I'm an IYCA member. Go to the IYCA websites. IYCA stands for International Youth Conditioning Association. They've got two sites currently. One is the IYCA.org website. That's where all their educational materials are. But aside from that, there's even more resources on IYCAmembers.com. Whether it's their forum or whether it's their build, business building um, templates, press releases, workouts, videos on workouts, even more resources. Outstanding, outstanding stuff. So check those two resources out today. Go back, have an unbelievable class or session with your athletes today. I appreciate you watching these videos very much, and we'll talk to you soon.